Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. The cold west. Get it? It's getting cold outside. Old west, cold west. Roll them. Pioneers homesteading on the wild frontier had quite a challenge. First of all, they had to time their four to five month westward trek carefully to avoid the treacherous winter. That means they left in the spring and hopefully got to their destinations and found a place to hold out before a blizzard hit. Come on inside. I'll light us a fire. The winter of 1886 to 1887 was disastrous to the west. The hot dry summer scorched the prairies so when the heavy snow started falling, much of the frontier's livestock were already undernourished. Then, on January 9th, a big blizzard hit covering the Great Plains in more than 16 inches of snow. Shipping and transportation to other settlements essentially came to a halt. Cows that weren't killed by the cold died from starvation. When spring arrived, millions of cattle were dead. Due to the 90% loss, many ranchers went bankrupt and moved back east, where they opened cowhide furniture stores. No, that last part isn't true. Sorry, folks. Exposure to the cold led to many human deaths, too. Miners and even experienced mountain men could freeze to death or get frostbite. A fur coat would only go so far when the wind chill drops to 25 below zero. Frostbite is treatable, but back then they didn't understand how to take care of it, and they did things like rub the affected area with snow. Hmm. Clearly that didn't work. Okay, you ready? Yep, the frigid weather wasn't something you messed with. Don't forget to wrap the pipes, it's gonna be freezing tonight. In 1846, Nevada, a wagon train was trapped near Donner Lake during a heavy snowfall. They ran out of food and supplies and resorted to cannibalism to survive until they were rescued three months later. Of the 87 pioneers, only 48 lived to tell the tale and were never invited to anybody's house for dinner again. Winter is coming. Hey, Dan. Hey, Sandy. Ooh. Try this. Ooh. Look at that Donner thing. Mm. Yeah. Ah, you know, people do what they have to do to survive. Mmm, this is really good. These livers are really good. Yeah, they're Harry's. Yep, yeah, Harry? You got it from Harry? I did. Mmm. It's, it's interesting. It, it tastes like it's got a whiskey infusion, like it's marinated in whiskey or something, you know? Oh. Mmm. Yeah, Harry was a drinker. He, Harry was almost pickled. Yeah. What, what do you mean, was? Well, not so much anymore, I don't know. He's not really a drinker anymore. You know, if you like Harry's liver, you should really taste his nuggets. Oh. Oh. Hey, folks, that's about it. I think he's done. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see y'all down the trail. <laughs>